The Shangwen 2007 Tibetan Flame Pu'er. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco, and we're gonna be looking at this tea today. All right, everybody, so this is the 2007 Shangwen Tibetan Flame. Sometimes you'll see it as Shangwen Flame Tibetan 2007. Uh, this is a raw pour. Um, something to note about this that I found kind of interesting was that the front has really nice large leaves, but really the whole cake is just all fannings. So it's just shredded, uh, shredded leaves for the most part, and just the front has nice big leaves. Uh, I got this cake from uh, the Dragon Tea House on eBay about two years ago now. Um, so I've been sitting on it since then. Something also to note, which was a little strange, I have found a piece of steel filings inside the cake. And I've also found a piece of nylon fiber, kind of like you would find on like a heavy duty nylon potato sack. So that's probably where the fiber came from is just the big, you know, heavy duty nylon sacks that they have some of the tobacco, uh, not the tobacco, the tea in. Um, so really not a big deal. I haven't found any bugs, so I'm okay with what I found in it so far. So uh, let's uh, brew this up a little bit. And here you can see the dry leaves. Um, I got a, a pretty good sized chunk and then kind of some small pieces to go along with it. So I am using five grams. This is a 110-ish mil gaiwan and I'm gonna be using 200 degree water today. So let's get some water in here and I'm going to do uh, two rinses on this just to, just to kind of wake up the leaves a little bit. All right, so before I even start the uh, first infusion on this, let's just take a sniff here. The, uh, the dry brick is pretty grassy, pretty much dry grass hay. And let's see what, the, what we're doing with some wet leaves here. The wet leaves really open up into a more earthy, smoky scent with a bit of an oaky note on the back. So let's get in here for the first infusion. Uh, for the first infusion, I'm gonna do this at about five seconds. I've been drinking this tea a little bit for the past week, so uh, I've kind of figured out kind of how I like it. And you're definitely gonna want a strainer considering how small the pieces, unless you feel like picking them out of your teeth, so that's up to you. So the first infusion um, is a dark yellow heading towards an amberish color, but it's more on, more on the yellow side here. The flavor is actually really smooth. This is a 2007 raw. So it's not like super bitter and it's not like mouth puckering dryness or anything like that. It's really kind of like a earthy, a little bit woody and a slight hint of smoke on it as well. All right, so I'm gonna steep this up again here. So again, that was about just shy of 10 seconds. The color is darkened up just a little bit. So I'll show you that right here. So it's heading closer towards that honey color. And we'll, 
We'll give the second a uh, taste here. So the mouthfeel, it's relatively thin. I'd say thin to medium and for thickness wise. And on the second steeping, just the flavors kind of build up a little bit more, but there's like no super bitterness on the back end. There's a slight sweetness on the finish, but you still have the nice earthy, uh, dry forest floor type of, type of uh, flavor with just that touch of smoke sitting there. This has been actually a really nice drinking tea for me. Um, I've, I've been drinking it over the past week and it's really actually pretty gentle on my stomach. Like I don't notice it doesn't cause heartburn or anything like that. So it's not, it's not a huge punch. If anything, it's kind of soothing and calming to me, at least for me that is. So your, your mileage may differ, but that is where it stands for me. So let me go into the third here and I'll kind of wrap it up after this. So this third steeping, I'm gonna do about 10 seconds. And now this steeping gets you to more of a honey amber color. And this is kind of where the color stays for the, uh, the, the next steepings after that. Uh, I find I can brew this out eight to 10 steepings, not a big deal. Like I said, five grams in a 120 mil uh, and using 200 degree water. Uh, right here at about the third steeping is when it all kind of comes up um, to about the level where it stays uh, after this before it starts tailing off again. So at about the third steeping, everything's nice and woken up. The flavors have built over the past two steepings. They're not like super bitter. There's just a slight bitterness, but it's not like a mouth drying, mouth puckering type of bitterness. Um, so it's fairly well balanced and, and, and pleasant. So here I will show you the wet leaves. As you can see, I mean, it's pretty shredded. I mean, it's just kind of small pieces of leaf for the most part. But it is what it is. So there you go. Uh, definitely, I would recommend this if you'd like to pick something up. Uh, it's not that expensive. Uh, you can still get it. It is available at the Dragon Tea House on eBay. So this is a 2007 Shaguin Tibetan Flame Raw Pour. And I think the current price on it is about $15. And that's shipped to the United States, no less, um, from the Dragon Tea House. So. Not bad, I would definitely recommend it if uh, you're in the market for a cheap cheap pour to try. I definitely would not brew this in a Western style. You're definitely gonna wanna do it Gung Fu style um, just because of it is super bitter if you, if you kinda do it Western style. So, all right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I have a whole bunch more videos coming up. So I'll see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.